Hi there, I'm Dane, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue on from last time, where we published our reports using GitHub Actions. But today we're going to put them straight onto an Amazon AWS S3 bucket for direct viewing. So let's jump straight in. So the first thing you should know is that we've got some prerequisites that I'm not going to go through in today's video. But if you want to know how to do any of these things, let me know and I can create a video on that. So you need an um, Amazon AWS, Amazon Web Services account, um, an S3 bucket created. Mine is called Learn Cypress Cucumber Reports. The S3 bucket needs to be configured for static site hosting so that we can browse directly to it and you need to configure your Amazon ID and secret key in GitHub as secrets. So let's go over to our basic.yaml file, which is lo located in the .github slash workflows folder. And we're going to add some more steps to this. What we need to know on the right hand side, we've got this upload S3 action. So this is a pre-built action that we can provide with some parameters and it will upload a folder or directory to um, an AWS S3 bucket. So I will link this action in the description if you want to see further details, but let's just add our new steps. So we can go down here and we want to have a new step. This one is going to um, use the action as I mentioned so shall we football slash s3 dash upload action you can use the master version okay so our name for this step is just going to be upload s3 we need to give this step an id and we'll come back to that in a minute but we'll just call the id s3 and we need to pass some parameters to our action. So those parameters will be AWS key ID. And this is going to be a environment variable that we provide from GitHub. So we can access that using the double, double mustache um, characters. And then we can say secrets.aws key ID. So the all capitals AWS key ID is the name that I gave this secret inside my GitHub configuration. And we also need to provide the AWS secret uh, access key. And we do that the same way. Dollar double mustache secrets dot AWS secret access key. Again, I gave the name AWS secret access key inside my GitHub config. We need to tell it the name of the bucket where we're uploading. So AWS bucket is learn, learn Cypress Cucumber ports. And we need to tell it the directory that we're uploading. So the source directory. Uh, and that's going to be to do MVC dash TypeScript dash React slash Cypress slash Cucumber port. So that's the same uh, folder that we linked to up here where we uploaded it as an artifact. We're using the same value here. And the last thing that we want to do is um, I would like it so that we could just click a link directly inside the GitHub um, inside the GitHub Actions panel so that we could view the uh, report straight away. So I'm going to add another step. This is going to be a manual um, step in our workflow. And I'm going to call it link to report. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a simple script and I'm going to copy this one so I don't get it wrong. And we'll just please. So we're going to run this command echo and then the string that we're going to echo out. So 
this is the path to my Amazon S3 bucket. So the name of my bucket, and I've designated it to be in the AP Southeast region, amazonaws.com. Then we have this, um, I guess, placeholder or replace um, argument. So steps.s3.outputs.object key. So that refers to our step with the ID S3 and an output that's on that and object key. So that object key is provided by this upload S3 action. And it's a unique identifier um, that we're going to place the reports within um, in the S3 bucket so that every time we build, we get a unique ID and the report goes inside there. And then we would just want to um, link directly to the index HTML file because we want to open it directly. So let's uh, just quickly get, uh, let's just check, what have we got changed in here? Just the GitHub workflows basic, good. So let's add that and we'll commit it and we'll say upload to S3, very good. And we'll push that to main. And then over here, we're going to go to uh, my repository, to the Learn Cypress Cucumber repository. And we can click on Actions, and we can see the upload to S3 commit is currently building. Go in there. Okay, so we're back and logged into GitHub, and we can see that um, currently Cypress is running to the right again. Cypress is running. It has recognized that we have two extra steps now, upload S3 and link to report. So we need to wait for the Cypress test to run, generate the report, and then we'll see what happens next. The Cypress tests usually take about three minutes or so. You can see that they're going through there. Okay, there we go. Now we've generated the report, uploaded the report. So this is uploading it as an artifact to the GitHub action. Upload S3, we can see that that has completed, link to report has completed, and it has finished the job. So let's go back to summary. Um, so as you can see down here, we've got the artifact as attached to our uh, GitHub action build. And if we click that, that will download a zip file, and then we need to browse to it and um, see what's happening there. But if we click into Cypress Run and go to the link to report, we get basically a, a link directly here. We can see the object key has been generated, JRS. So this is a random, randomly unique key. What I can do now is if I middle click, open in a new window, we have a link directly to the report. We do not need to download it and we do not need to unzip and, and do any extra stuff. We can just access it directly from, from our S3 bucket. So as I was mentioning earlier, um, if you did find this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you want to see any further videos from me, please consider subscribing. Check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash DaneHarnett or at Twitter on twitter.com slash DaneHarnett. And check out the description for the links and maybe a bit of a textual description of what you need to do and the prerequisites. Until next time, see you in the next one.